Hello, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Let's get right to it. Alarm bells are going off inside of me, and I see red flags on the horizon with the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Russia is throwing around words such as the four horsemen and the apocalypse. Now, when I hear that kind of narrative, I perk up my ears and think, what is coming next? And I think, actually, Russia is telling us what's coming next. Their high-ranking official, Dmitry Medvedev, was recently interviewed and said these words, quote, one can believe that the horsemen of the apocalypse are already on their way and all hope is in Almighty God. He added that these things have already been set in motion. I don't know about you, but I'm watching closely what's coming next. And this is in reference to the long-range missiles that we are now, in fact, going to send to Ukraine. For a while there, at the beginning of the week, our leadership was going to send the long-range missiles. Then they were not going to send them, and now they are again. Now, truly, who knows what's going to happen this week? But right now, these missiles are on their way to Ukraine. At least that's the plan. And it would be my guess that Ukraine is not just going to sit around and look at these missiles. There is an intent to use them against the mother country of Russia. Yes, this is a proxy war. These are United States weapons. But Ukraine, that is the country. They are the people. That government are the ones who are setting these missiles off. And that is their plan. But Russia's not stupid. They see where the root of the problem is. They see who is supplying the weapons. Retaliation might come to the homeland of the United States. We might severely regret ever truly getting involved. But here we are, involved anyway. It would be my, it would be my advice to you to prepare and keep abreast of what's happening this week might be very pivotal on the war front. Stay close to God. This is Gina Lima Charlie. I'm out.